Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from the, the Sanders, Sanders kitchen. kitchen. That that was good. We just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in to our channel. Uh, by the way, I'm Mike. I'm the one usually doing the video. Pam is doing all the cooking. We design our recipes together. We both do a lot of cooking, and you'll be seeing me, uh, you know, coming soon. I need to polish up on my camera skills. But um, anyway, today we just wanted to thank you for tuning in, being subscribers, and um, and now on to one of the most delightful things that I love to eat for Christmas, and that is squash casserole. I love it. And now, on to the cooking show. Okay, and here's the ingredients for our squash casserole. We have onions, garlic, butter, cheddar cheese, mayo, sour cream, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, Ritz crackers, our delicious caliente hot sauce. We have an egg, salt and pepper, and this beautiful big cup of yellow squash which we're going to show you how to cut that up. All right, we already cut up most of our squash, but we did reserve one to show you how we're going to have, use this mandolin to cut it up. It makes beautiful, uniform little slices. You can use a knife, but this is so quick and it saves a lot of time, but you have to be extremely careful because the blades are very, very sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we start this. And you just run it down the little thing like that. I do start with my hand. There is a protective guide that when it gets down to the end, I'll go ahead and I'll show you how that, that goes on. But these slices, it's really quick. Or you could just go ahead and cut it with a knife into nice even slices, whatever is easiest for you. We're gonna go ahead and put some butter in our pan to get ready to saute our onions and our garlic. So my pan was already hot, the butter's melting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add some onions, which my husband cut up so nicely for me. Oh, I like it mint. Uh-huh, it smells good too. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic. And we're just gonna saute these, saute these down until they get nice and soft. And then we're gonna set them aside for the next step in our recipe. Well, our onions are nice and softened and translucent. So what we're gonna do is take these out of the pan and set them aside and then we're gonna start on our squash. Now we're gonna add our beautiful squash. Oop, drop one. Now we're not using any water these squash are gonna let off a lot of their natural juices, so we're just gonna cook them down in the butter till they get nice and soft. I am gonna add a pinch of salt. Salt does bring out, helps the liquids come out of the vegetables, so I'm gonna put a little salt on it. And we're just gonna stir them every couple of minutes till they get nice and soft, and then we're gonna have to drain them really, really well before we use them. Well, our squash is done. It took about 15 minutes. Now. We have to get it into the strainer. So let me just show you how quick and easy this is. Oh, quick and easy. Oh, thank you, honey. See, I told you that was simple. Woo! This looks good, it smells good, and now it's got a lot of draining to do. And I'm gonna show you how much liquid in a little while after it's drained. We have a lot of liquid that came out of this squash. So, see you later. All right, our squash is done. It took about 15 minutes, and we've drained it very well. And this is what our squash looks like. It's drained for about 15 minutes. And then this is how much liquid we actually got out almost a cup and a half that's came off of the squash so we're just going to discard that and then we're going to go ahead and put the rest of this recipe together okay now we're going to go for the wet ingredients 
to mix our squash and our onions into. And we're going to start with some mayonnaise. And then we're going to go with our sour cream. All the amounts for this will be in the link for the recipe down below. We have cream cheese. We have our Parmesan cheese. We have a tablespoon of our delicious homemade caliente hot sauce. And a tablespoon sounds like a lot, but for this big of a casserole, it's not going to be that much. And one egg. We're going to combine all this together, and then we're going to go ahead and add our squash and our onions. Got to combine it all together. We're going to fold in our squash. and our onions and garlic mixture. A little salt and pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and assemble our casserole with the cheese between the layers and the crunchy crackers. And then it will be ready to go into, a, into the oven. Okay, we're gonna put our casserole together. I'm gonna put myself in the pan all right, ooh, that was nice. Then you take your squash and onion mixture and you're gonna layer about a half of it in your casserole dish. Ooh, that kind of makes a little bit of a mess. And just spread it in your pan. Come take a look at this, babe. It smells good. And you're going to put some cheese. Now, it called for a cup and a half of cheese, but we want a little bit more because we like a lot of cheese. So you put a layer of cheese and then about half of your cracker mixture on top of that. Then you finish off with the rest of your squash and onions. Side. Spread that all on top. Man, I can't wait to eat this. It's like, it smells so good. And this time you're going to reverse. You're going to go ahead and put your cracker crumbs on top and then the cheese. And that way the cheese is going to melt. We're going to put this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then it's going to be beautiful and delicious. Mm, that looks good. We'll go ahead and going to go ahead and get this in the oven, and we'll be back. Okay, our squash casserole came out of the oven. We did let it rest for about ten minutes because it would have fried your tonsils. So anyway, we just want to see what this is going to taste like. So I could just smell it right now. I can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, it's got a crispy, crispy, crunchy topping on it. Take a little spoonful. Mm. You see that goodness? <gasps> that is just wonderful. Now we're going to go in for the big bite. Mmm. Still hot. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's delicious. <laughs> it's one of the best ones I think we ever made. This is so good. I think even kids that don't care for vegetables, it's so cheesy and it's just so delicious. I think anybody would love this. 
you need to try this recipe. So I just want to thank you from Mike and I. Merry Christmas from the Sanders Kitchen. Please watch our videos, share, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share it with everybody, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Mm -hmm.